Uh, good evening or uh, bon nuit. Uh, this is Junichiro Hagino and this is my second uh, indie video on IPv6 technology. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, it looks like I'm wearing the same t shirt but it's different. So, <laughs> anyway, let's go. Uh, last night I mentioned that the, uh, there is a theoretical limit in IPv4 technology and the, that is way too low than the uh, current population on the planet and the, uh, we need more addresses and the, we need to <coughs> make it possible to, for uh, every, every person on the planet to be able to get connected to the internet simultaneously. So uh, IPv6 can help uh, help solving that situation. And the with IPv6, uh, the uh, bitwise, uh, I mean the the number of digits for the IP address, it is uh, four times larger than IPv4. The number of digits is four times. So uh, the theoretical limit of the uh, number of machines uh, which can be connected to the IPv6 internet simultaneously is um, 340 undecillion. I have no idea what does it mean, and, but the, uh, this is um, number, the digit 3 uh, and the after 3 uh, there will be 38 zeros. So uh, it will be like 3 times 10 powered by 38. So I hope this should be uh, enough for you know the, uh, the lifetime of my lifetime, I hope. But you know, uh, no one, nobody can predict the future. Uh, actually, uh, in 1970s, uh, some uh, computer scientists said that the, there should be like seven uh, supercomputers in the world and the everything can be computed on those seven machines but he was wrong of course and the, uh, like uh, Thomas Alba Edison uh, invented the uh, record uh, the uh, the reason why he invented this one was to record his will and the, nobody expected that the uh, that Edison record was the source for the uh, huge music industry so nobody can tell about the future but uh, from what I guess uh, I think the IPv6 will enable us to get connected to the internet uh, until the end of my lifetime I hope uh, I hope it's not that soon and the so uh, but the there are a lot of you know, a lot of lot of new applications coming in. For example, there are like 10, 50, 100 computers in your car, and the uh, some people are trying to use internet protocol to make them communicate within the car. So, in that case, a car needs 100 IP addresses. And the some researches uh, researchers are doing the uh, IP addresses in the light bulb. So every house will have like 20, 30 something IP address IP addresses, and the, that kind of application is you know um, very good and very interesting, but at the same time consumes more addresses. So clearly it shows the limit of IPv4 and the. Uh, Good future with IPv6 technology. Uh, okay, so maybe uh, uh, it's like five minutes. So okay, I will end this uh, video with some fun stuff. And the, I like uh, Japanese comic book, Japanese animation, uh, Japanese animation, and the movies. And the uh, I think uh, many of you have some movie which changed your life, I guess. And for me, of course, uh, Star, Star Cruiser Yamato or Star Blazer and the uh, Star Wars and the uh, 
Star Wars and the、uh, also Gundam maybe and the Macross、uh, which is a、uh, uh, Robotech Robotech in the States and Blade Runner and of course The Matrix and but the、uh, very special film for me is the uh, uh, Brainstorm by、uh, Douglas Trumbull the director、um, that movie really changed my life so Please、uh, comment on my video, my video feedback, <laughs> text feedback, and the,、uh, maybe we can have some conversation on movies, conversation on IPv6 and stuff. Oops,、uh, before I forget, I put the YouTube tag on this、uh, the description on this video, and the d o o d l e Book and the Heaven, Heaven Tomorrow.、Uh, these ladies are very you know, talented, big, talented ladies. so... Please check, check them out. It, it's really fun. So, see you tomorrow.